The citizens are really enjoying the addition of the streetlights. <laughs> In fact, some are even asking us to install more across the countryside as well. Unfortunately, we don't have that sort of budget. Remember that haunted cave on Amber Island? I think it's about time we develop it into an attraction. I have prepared some funding for you to go and strengthen the cave system and add in some lights and decorations. We want it to be spooky after all. What do you say? I saved this commission just for you, since you're the one that kicked the bandy rats out of the cave last time. Good, good. Here are the crafting recipes for the light and banner. Uh, see where you can put them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. My practice sword is getting worn. I need a new one for my morning exercise. How about it?
Oh, so glad you came. We're at our wit's end here. I don't know why, but the pan bats have been coming out of the swamp and into our tree farm since last month. Now they're flying all over the farm, preventing anyone from getting near. We've tried everything already. Fire, water, cotton candy, you name it. But they just won't go away. The Civil Corps came the other day, and they're just as close as us. They've been sucking nutrients and poisoning our trees. Look at them. The leaves are turning brown. You've got to do something. We actually talked with Higgins as well, but he's scared of the pan bats. So it's up to you now. Can you help us? Oh, thank you, thank you. But how do you plan on solving this? I think I'll go talk with the research center first. They might think of something. Something to stop a pan bat infestation. Um, I'm not sure. Director, do you know anything that might stop a pan bat? Of course, my dear. Pan bats are very sensitive to sound. If you make some sort of sound amplifier, you'll be able to scare those poor things away in no time. All right, so a boombox. Let's see, I can think of two designs. A very straightforward design. It might be kind of noisy, but it will be easy to make. Alternatively, there is a more complicated design that will be able to play music. I don't know what the effect on the pan bats will be. It's up to you. You're the type that wants everything, huh? For that, I think we'll need eight data disks. You have them, great. It'll take a while to analyze all the data. I'll contact you when we have something. I can actually get some reading done under the streetlights now.
Now this takes me back to my younger days, when I was receiving my first sword. Great work. Very balanced. The new street lights installed in the city make Porsche look so lovely at night. I bet it's the prettiest city in the whole world. Have you been to the collapsed wasteland yet? I heard there's dangerous, hazardous ruins in there. It's like a restricted area near our town. Only certain qualified people can go in there. The ruins are indeed very dangerous. Let me tell you all about it. Wow. So, it's full of dangerous toxins? And there were all types of creatures in there? Sounds like a really amazing experience. When you have time, can you tell me about your other adventures? Sure thing. If you have some time, can you help me deliver some medicine? I'm tied up with work. I really appreciate the new street lights. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. This one, Phyllis? Aw, oh, thanks, mate. Seems like she still cares about me. But why has she been avoiding me lately? Strange. Wonderful! I'm sure this will be perfect for a date or dare. <laughs> ah, is this the remedy for the water poisoning from Phyllis? I really need it. Wow, <laughs> Phyllis is really something. I reckon we'll soon have two doctors in town. Hey kid, how come you're the one delivering this? Is Phyllis too busy to even meet her best friend now? <laughs> Maybe I should head over for a cup of tea and see if I can help her out. Thanks, buddy.
All delivered? Nicely done, thank you. This is my personal thanks to you for all your support. If there's anything I can do, feel free to ask.